Hey guys, welcome to Quick Fix Guitar. My name is Aaron. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. The support is greatly appreciated. However, if you are new here, let me tell you what I do here at Quick Fix Guitar. So here on the channel, I upload three guitar lessons per week on songs from a variety of genres, but with a main focus around hard rock, rock, punk, and metal. Then the following day, I release a cover of the song so you can see all the parts played in their entirety. I also do review the old piece of gear from time to time, guitars, pedals, amps, you name it. I love chatting about it. So if all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. Feel free to give the video a like as well, that really helps out with the channel, pushes the video out to more people. With that being said, let's jump into this Marcus King lesson. All right, lesson time, Aim High by Marcus King. This guy is super talented, and this is another one of his really, really catchy songs of his most recent album, Youngblood. If you haven't listened to that, go have a listen to it. It's wall-to-wall -wall great blues tracks. Also, if you haven't seen the other Marcus King lessons, check them out. They'll be popping up. There'll be links somewhere around here popping up. So go check out those covers and those lessons if you want to learn how to play along with those songs. So for this song, we are in standard tuning and we are in the middle position. So on my Les Paul, I've got two pickups, obviously. So the middle position gives it that honky sort of tone, but it still has the cut of the bridge pickup. But whatever guitar you've got is fine. I just prefer the sound of the middle position. I'm pretty sure when I've seen live performances of him, he's using the middle position and it sounds like it from the album as well. So this song, it starts with a low E, so low E open, followed by two hits on the seventh fret of the A string, lift off to the fifth, and then back up to the seventh of the low E. So all together. Sorry, from the start. Like that. Open, two on the seventh of the A, one on the fifth of the A, and then one on the seventh of the low E. Followed by three, four on the low E, and then five, seven on the A. Just like that. Then you repeat the riff again, but it just has a slightly different ending. So you can either play just the low E by itself, three, two, but I prefer to do a little power chord there just to fatten up the sound, make it a little bit bigger. So all together, the intro riff, there's a big slide at the start I've got to mention as well. So that is the intro riff and it's also the verse riff. So that's played through a few times and then it goes down to the key of A. So it's the exact same pattern, but we just move it down to the A and the D string. So A string open, two on the seventh fret of the D, one on the fifth of the D, and then on the seventh of the A, three, four on the A, five, seven on the D, and then it repeats, it starts the same way again. But this time it finishes three, five on the A. And then we're back up to the E version, the low E version of it. Down to the A. back to that main riff. So that is the intro riff slash the verse riff. And while he's doing this riff, I saw a live performance on YouTube. He's doing lots of sliding. He's sliding into this position, which adds to the groove of it. So you can play it straight, or you can add those slides. You can put a slide in there. Just like that, adds to the groove. So that is the intro riff slash the verse riff. And then there's this little bit before um, the chorus, a little bridge bit, and we're coming down here. So we've got our, I play it with my middle finger and my index finger. So I've got my middle finger on the ninth fret of the G string, and my index finger on the eighth fret of the D string. And just bouncing between the two. So between the, the G and the D. 
and then we slide that up to the sixth fret with our middle finger and the fifth fret with our index finger. So that happens once. And then we're back into that main riff. So there's not many parts in this song. There's the intro riff, which is in on the low E, and then we change key, we go down to the A, pretty much the same pattern, but with that slightly different ending. And then we have that section there before the chorus, and those are all the main parts on how to play Aim High. Now there's lots of soloing going on in this song, so it goes for about five minutes, so you can practice soloing anything in the E minor pentatonic works, or A minor when it changes the key there. But those are all the parts that you need. It's really, really simple. The most difficult part of the song is understanding when the parts, what parts come in, because there is one part in the song, it always catches me off when I'm playing it, when we're doing this riff. Where it doesn't go back to the main riff, it continues doing that, and it does three bars of that, I guess. Second one. for a third and then it finally goes back to that main riff just like that so that's the only bit so you'll have to listen to the song and you'll get a feel of when when that's happening because there's a whole heap of solo soloing going over the top of it which um, is absolutely fantastic and towards the end of the song, it starts to add a massive fuzz pedal and it's almost like they're turning it up or dialing up the fuzz pedal. So that main riff starts to blend in and it all becomes really, really crazy. So it's hard, hard to hear exactly what's going on. But if you just stick to that main riff in low E on the low E string from pretty much the last a minute and a half of the song or minute of the song, you should be fine. And that's what I'll do in the cover. You'll see that tomorrow. So that should, that should get you through the song just playing it like that. But feel free to solo over the top of it, do whatever you like. But those are all the parts that you need to play Aim High by Marcus King. And there you have it guys, that's how you play Aim High by Marcus King. This guy is seriously super talented as a guitar player, as a lyricist and as a singer. And he's keeping that modern blues rock alive. So if you did enjoy the lesson, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. As I mentioned, upload a guitar lesson three days a week. Uh, feel free to give the video a like as well, that really helps out with the channel, pushes the video out to more people. If you'd like to see some more Marcus King lessons on the channel, feel free to comment down below, I'd love to do some more. Check out the playlists that are popping up all around here and throughout the video. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the lesson and I will see you in the next video. Catch ya!